What is going on everyone? My name is Dragonheart the Prince of Wales and welcome to Dragon's Pipe Bomb. This is going to be a brand new series on my channel. I am hoping to do this once or twice a week. Now you're probably wondering what the hell this is, so I'm going to give you a brief rundown of what it is. First of all, this is going to be something which will be released to early access to my patrons. I've got some awesome patrons that are listed in the description below and this will be released firstly to the patron only feed on there so they get early access to it and then a couple of days later it will be released to regular youtube for everyone to watch then as well i don't want anyone to miss out on this so i'm doing it that way i think that's way that way it's fairer i'm offering them something as well as everyone else as well it's basically gonna <coughs> pardon me it's basically gonna be an unfiltered unedited mess most probably as you can probably tell from that little burp but there everything stays in it's my honest opinion over different things it's me talking about different topics. They can be topics you guys want me to bring up and discuss. They can be things that are video game based, for example. They can be things that are streamer based, total war based. They can be topics like political topics. We had the American election recently. Maybe I got something to say on that, who knows. Um, so you guys get the option to drop some comments in the comment section below. And I can have a look then and try and filter some of these episodes around those topics and, and go from there really like i said any topics you want for episode two drop them below right now and then we can go from there really guys um it's gonna be like a podcast like i said if it goes well who knows maybe we'll end up having this on soundcloud or itunes or something like that i have no idea at all but um, i actually have no idea how to set that up either so if you guys think it's good enough and know how to do it let me know because we can talk and we'll try and get it done so i have no idea but we'll try and do that I do actually have um, a topic for today, which is streamer mentality and privilege. It's a topic by my good patron, Jackasaurus. He's also a live streamer as well. So very nice topic to start the first episode off with. So we'll be talking about that later on in the episode. Before we carry on, just want to go over a few things. My description below, everything you need is in the description below, guys. If you're looking for cheap games, check out uh, the links. I got a link to Green Man Gaming and I got a link to Kinguin in the description below. Um, some of the prices are usually better than Steam, so if you're looking to get a PC game, I always go on those those links. I always go on Games Planet as well, a couple of other websites like CD Keys, just to see what the best prices are before I make my purchase. So if you want to check the links out, and it helped me out a lot if you use them. So awesome stuff, guys, if you don't mind doing that. Um, Patreon, you don't have to, it's totally optional. But seeing as this is a Patreon kind of video, um, it's not a big make mention of it, it's in the description if you need that as well. My Twitter, my Facebook, my Steam, my email are all there as well. My Instagram is there if you want to follow me on Instagram. My Discord server, if you want to join my Discord server, that is below as well. If you want to buy a t-shirt or a mug like the mugs that I have over here, let me just grab one. I didn't get that reference in quick enough. I've actually got scissors in my cup for some reason, but there we go. If you like shit like this and you want to have shit in your house, then buy my shit in my shitty description below, guys. So that's that as well. And I got t-shirts and shit as well, so everything you need. Like I said, total 100% honest opinion over different topics and different things in these. It's a podcast, basically. It's a one-man podcast. Um, if you guys have ever watched, like, The True Geordie, or you know, who does, like, football videos, he does something very similar, although he's got, like, a big green screen with, like, the Sky Sports text and stuff, which looks really legit, and I just got my bedroom and my fucking bed and, and stuff, but... Hey, we got to start somewhere, guys. we got to start somewhere, right? Um, <laughs> and also um, another kind of, I guess, not so much aspiration or inspire, but a reference point for me, I guess, was uh, JD from NY, who does a lot of the wrestling stuff. He does he does it more my way, where he sits down, he records. He talks like an hour, hour and, hour and 20 minutes, something like that, about the different wrestling shows. He does different reviews on the shows and stuff like that. So it's kind of an amalgamation of those kind of ideas, but something I want to be more down to me more specific to me than to anybody else oh that was a mouthful that was done in five well, less than five minutes that was really good that's a good way to start things off so yeah guys that's everything you need today. that's a good way to probably start things off so in today's episode we're going to be talking about streamer mentality and privilege so what is streamer mentality and privilege well i'm going to give you a bit of a backstory before we go into this i'm a live streamer on youtube gaming I've been a live streamer on there for about a year. Before that, I was a streamer on Twitch for about a year, sort of on and off for a year. Um, I don't have the best quality of streams, if I'm being totally honest with you. My upload is shit. 
Um, I have to cut back on lots of my settings on OBS. Um, I get drop frames occasionally. I get all sorts of problems. But I try my best. I make the most of what I've got. And I'm really grateful. And the fact that I get about 12 to 15 on average on some days watching me is absolutely amazing. And the chat's very good. You guys have helped me cultivate a very nice community on YouTube gaming for my live stream. So it's absolutely awesome. So that's kind of my backstory with it. Now, YouTube gaming, when I joined it about a year ago, it was in its infancy. It only just started, I think, August 2015 was when they, it was officially released. But most people aren't even aware that YouTube gaming is even a thing. PewDiePie even made reference of it in a video of his about six months or so ago when he was like, YouTube gaming, what the hell is that? I don't know, exactly. So um, people do know what it is, and they're trying to compete with Twitch. Like, Twitch is, like, the main, you know, go-to place if you want to be a streamer. And you've got other sites then, like uh, Justin TV and uh, Beam and, you know, stuff like that. So... Um, interesting, you know, way they've gone about it. I'd actually mind the YouTube gaming interface. I've grown to like it, but again, you, you got you got to know what you're looking for. People do know as a thing. People will just go onto YouTube, regular YouTube, and on the odd occasion that the stream gets recommended. I say odd occasion. It's like a one percent chance that something gets um, referenced to you on the main front page. Oh, okay, I'll suggestion. I'll try that out. It has a little red text saying live below it, but you wouldn't know that unless it was there in front of you, which isn't always there. So it's very interesting um, thing that, that YouTube gaming is. YouTube gaming, um, it's a very bizarre kind of situation that I found myself in with it because there's so many aspects of it that I love. There's lots of things I don't like. Now, there's this thing on YouTube gaming called a sponsorship button. It's um, as far as I'm aware, it's not being rolled out at the moment, but it was back about a year or so ago when well when it, when it first started basically and over the first sort of six or seven months it was some, something that was uh rolled out now the youtube sponsorship button is basically a little button you get on your um description or by your description on the sort of top right hand side of it and if you're willing to support your streamer your favorite streamer you can hit that button you can pay them um i think it's like three dollars ninety ninety nine or three dollars ninety five with something like that which would amount to about i think it's three pound something not quite sure exactly but about that i've never actually used it to be honest i've never actually sponsored anyone on youtube gaming they're all a bunch of guns <laughs> there's actually some really good streamers out there which i do i like yeah but there's quite a few i don't but um we'll see how that goes in this conversation guys um <laughs> but that's what the sponsorship button does and when you do sponsor a channel basically you get a little emoji a custom emoji so we'll use me for an example pretend i'm some big youtube streamer guy you want to help me out you you sponsor me on youtube you come into my streams and then you you get like a little green bar by your name and you get like uh, a custom emoji and in my case it'll be a little dragon like a black dragon or something oh cool you got a little black dragon Ooh. yeah and then um i think you get access to a um sponsorship only chat so that when the streamer's streaming he's got his regular chat but then he's got his like um, sponsorship chat as well so he or she can sort of see that um, and they can just take take part in that chat. I'd rather have it all in one chat, to be honest with you. I don't see the point in all this dicking about with different things. One fucking chat, a couple of mods near sorted, no problem at all. But yeah, I'm, I'm a bit more sort of old school with that sort of thing. <laughs> but, um, plus, I never had sponsorships, so I wouldn't know how to use it. So, hey, with great power comes great responsibility. And unfortunately, I haven't got that power or responsibility, which is nice, because I can just talk shit on videos like this instead, <laughs> which is more fun, to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, that's, um, <laughs> that's that. Um, the ego thing I want to come into though, so how can I, let me try and think of a way I can describe this. Okay, so the streamers, top streamers that I'm subscribed to, I'm subscribed to quite a lot of them in, in this sort of community, this YTG community, YouTube gaming community, and the, ma the vast majority proper, proper sound guys, proper cool, cool um, streamers, a lot of them are, um, get on well with them, chat with them, no problem at all. But ever so often, you'll see some of these streamers come across and... I don't know, they they will get like 40 to 50 people watching them regularly, which is absolutely amazing. To get 40 or 50 people watch you live is really cool, um, in my opinion. Like I said earlier, I, I get like an average of 12 to 15 on a good day. Um, sometimes it drops a bit, so I'll get like 8 or 9. I'm happy to get anyone, to be honest with you. I'll take what I can get, I'll take what I can get. Um, <laughs> but they, um, but you know, they're doing well. To get 50, if you can get 50 or 60 people watch you for a long period of time, that's really good, to be fair. Um, so well done on that. That's not a problem at all. You know, give yourself a pat on the back. But it, it goes to the head a little bit. If if you stream, okay. So the sponsorship button. A lot of these guys got the sponsorship button. 
Um, I think, like I said, it was rolled out at the start of the year or whatever um, to, to select streamers, basically, they wanted to test it with, um, mainly Americans. There's, I think there's like one one British, there's one or two, there's, I think there's, no, there's one I know for definite that there's, there's a British streamer that's got a sponsorship button. I think it might be two, but there's only one that I know of um, and the rest, I, I, I haven't got a clue. But most of them are American and Canadians and I think there's a couple of Aussies as well that got, um, got the sponsorship uh, button enabled, which is really cool. And I think you have to. I think you have to stream like forty hours a week or something ridiculous to sort of enable that. I pff, that's not going to happen with me. Not with my internet. You're lucky to get at least six or seven with me. So, um, <laughs> but hey, that's that's you know that's, that's 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 me. That's not that's me. It's not them. That's me. Um, but yeah, the YouTube sponsorship thing. I think it goes to their heads, and some of them are quite lucky as well. They got like verified ticks, which is so fucking annoying because like I've tried to get a verified tick. I've actually gone to my network curse and have said to them. You know, what are the requirements? I, I'm in good standing. I, I've ticked all the boxes. I grab everything you need. And they're like, no, that's but you don't. You don't have 100,000 subscribers. You have to have 100,000 subscribers before they even get considered. I'm like, you know, but that. I've, I've had people like streamers who've got like 3,000, 4,000 subscribers bragging on Twitter that they've got a verified tick. And you're telling me that I can't because I have got 100,000 subscribers. Get out, you fucking idiots. And they were the same network. They were cursed. So I'm going to frankly, what's going on with it? Um... Favoritism, guys. Favoritism. Um, oh god, I'm gonna be un unlinked from Curse after this as well. Oh well, if we're gonna piss one community off, we'll piss them all off, guys. Don't worry about it. So, um, <laughs> please love me, Curse. So, there's people out there, streamers that are doing well. Um, they do, you know, they got the numbers, they get 50 60 per stream, they got the verified tick, perhaps, maybe they have, maybe they haven't, who knows. Sponsorship button, get donated regularly, etc., etc. Getting good numbers, you know, getting promoted, yada yada yada. You get the idea. They think they're fucking amazing. They think they got some of these people do. They really do, and it makes me laugh so much because I look at YouTube gaming as a platform, and it's doing quite a lot of things right. There's a lot of stuff it's doing which I like, to be honest with you. And if they can keep improving and integrating new things and you know the gap between twitch and youtube gaming will eventually start to get a bit closer but at the moment it's still like that i think in, in a lot of ways um not so much the community the community i like that i actually like most of the community on youtube gaming it's just you know this that minority thing which is what we're going to get into now so <laughs> yeah try and compose myself for this so yeah they, they'll have like 50 watch and we'll say verified sponsorship whatever cool and they think that they're old stuff. That's where the streamer privilege thing comes. They think that they're old stuff. They think that they're old this. And and they, they kind of have that arrogance in their streams. And you, and you can literally see it with some people how they've changed over. Because I'll forget, I've been on the system a year. I've come across quite a lot of different channels in that year. And a lot of them were quite small or, or a lot smaller than me or whatever when starting off and have gone on to have successes and stuff. And and you can see a big change in, 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 in how they act and stuff. And... It is like stream of privilege. They think they're old stuff. They think it's gone to the head. Oh, I'm old this. I'm old that. No, you're not. You're old, you're old fuck all, mates. And they sort of parade themselves around on their streams as if they're some sort of big, um, you know, I am, big I am in, in, in the streaming world. And it's like, yeah, you're 50 watch new. That's really good in our little YouTube gaming thing. That's what YouTube gaming is. We haven't got the same numbers on YouTube gaming watching. So if you've got 50, you're almost at like the top of the thing almost. You know, with me with my 15, my, my 12 to 15 average, whatever, that's like a mid card kind of thing. So that's really, I'm happy with that. You, you combine that, you compare that to Twitch, you, you, you know, you're going to get looked at with, with 50 sort of thing on Twitch because you need to get like, you know, the, the big guys on Twitch are getting like 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, an app. That's like, you know, that's the difference. League of Legends streams on YouTube, um, you might get 10,000. At the most, if it's like the you know the esports thing, I've seen them get about ten thousand. Might get more now. My my numbers might be a bit out, but you know it's like ten thousand to like a hundred thousand. That's like the sort of difference between the the two brands basically. So it's interesting to see you know where the two brands sit. If I was to rec recommend streaming to anybody that's new, I would recommend YouTube still because I think you've got a better chance of getting noticed. And like I said, if you can integrate yourself into the community, get to know all the streamers. They're really cool people. Like I said. Um, I've come across lots of cool ones, and they will raid you from time to time. But that's the other thing as well. It's almost like some people expect to get raided. I never expect to get raided. I'm actually, um, well, like I'll tell you my numbers in a second. But um, some people, it's almost like, oh, you, I'm getting raided. Cool. And they literally, they literally like a, 
Just they're playing the game, do, 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 call of duty, do, 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 boom, bang, 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 do, 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 doing all the really little shit, and then look at the chat, and it's like, oh cool, Dragonfire raid, hey man, thanks, and it's like, what the fuck? It's like doing some genuine, it's like who the fuck are you exactly? Who the fuck are you exactly? You little piece of shit, do you know what I mean? So that's what it's like sometimes. It's just yeah, it's bizarre. It's fucking bizarre, guys. Really bizarre. So that's like one of my frustrations with YouTube gaming and streaming mentality. Now, there's another side of the coin I want to come at from there, from this conversation I'm having right now. Um, that's terrible. These are the big guys. That This is some of the problems I've seen with some of the big guys. It's some of the small guys that are fucking worse. Oh, boy. So I've been a member of um, about five now, I think five or six Twitter groups, YouTube gaming Twitter groups. I've actually got my own. Um, because I've actually used my brain and realised that the Twitter groups shouldn't really be about the streamer, but should be about the you know the audience. It's like if they if they're willing to, if people are willing to um, support my streams and spend time on a Friday evening for two hours, three hours watching me, then I should try and give something back to them. If they're willing to financially support me through Patreon, then I should try and give something back to them, and. That's like my thinking with it. So I've created my own Twitter group. I've added about 20, 25 people who are regulars, semi-regulars of my streams. Added them. I, I just I talk I talk in the group. Talk to them. Get to know them a little bit. Chat to them. Ask them how the day is. Let them know when I'm thinking of streaming next. Get some ideas. And it's great. I think that's cool. Other people have got Twitter groups just for the streamers. So it's YouTube Gaming and Fam. YouTube Gaming, YouTube Gaming, YouTube Gaming, YouTube Gaming. Um, you know, stream chats and cabals and all sorts of stuff going on. Different, all these different groups. There's loads of them, and one or two. Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't you know, I want to nail my colours to the mask properly here. Most of the groups I've been in are actually pretty cool. Just, just saying, most of them are cool. Keep people in the chat, awesome. But then there's some, you come across them, and they think, yeah, we we run the system. You know, this is our platform. Um, you basically got to come through us, sort of thing, and it's almost as if you well, you get the feeling they look down on you. I got that feeling with some of them, fuckers. It's because I'm Welsh, fucking race, racist bastards. It's because I'm Welsh. It's because I got an accent. It's because I got a funny fucking. I'll give you a funny fucking accent. Now you bunch of cunts. Now, um, <laughs> oh god, that's right. So that's curse gone. That's all of YouTube gaming gone. Right. See how many friends we lose by the end of this one, guys. Uh, <laughs> um. Before we go any further, actually, um, I should just because I know I realise how unfair this probably is for some of you guys listening and watching because um, this is going to be like uh, you're thinking streaming YouTube game. What the fuck is that? And you might be thinking you, you might be lost on this conversation. And I I realise that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to link you a video in my description, is to a channel called Narcos. And Narcos is an absolutely awesome dude. He's a streamer on uh, YouTube game. He's an American streamer. Um, he did a video. Uh, it's, I think it's like 12 to 15 minutes long in length and he talks about it in quite a lot of detail and he talks about sort of streamer privilege and, and how people think they're old stuff and, and that sort of thing I agree with all his points so I'm going to pop that in the description use that as a reference point guys so you can just go there check that out and then you'll be like right okay I know exactly what he's on about now and, and it'll just make things a bit easier gives the situation a bit more uh, clarity basically so yeah um where was I with this fucking conversation? <laughs> Remember, this is unedited, so I'm just like gonna go off on the cuff and just whatever pops up my mind just goes on screen and, and just fuck it. That, that, that gets uploaded and and if people got a problem with it, then just tough. You can call me a cunt in the um in the chat below. I'll just call you a cunt back. It's you know what I mean. Fuck, bring it on. So um, <laughs> so yeah, that's the that's the like the the groups on on Twitter. So they. Yeah, most of them are pretty cool in the groups, but then there's a few of them you come across and it's like, oh, they, they, they look right through you sort of thing. You say hey to everyone, you talk to them, you try to chat to them, and they just ignore you half the time. Really, they, some, a lot of the time they do. I've been ignored quite a lot of times, so I don't even bother half the time now. Um, especially with a lot of them being um, American, Canadian sort of people, so like their time zone's way out, like five, eight hours or a difference. So like, they're all like messaging, saying, morning everyone, morning, and I'm like, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, I've just come off my lunch. I'm going back into work, so I don't really give a shit. So I don't really I miss out on stuff anyway because of that. But when I have talked to them in the past, like on the weekend stuff, I, I get ignored sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. There's some people, and we're going from the big ones to the small ones now. 
big streamers, small ones. Small ones who've been doing it for a few months and they may have 100 subscribers, 200 subscribers, something like that. Fair play to them. Well done. Keep it going. Keep it going, my friends. But <laughs> little cunts, little cunts. So, like, they ignore you purposely. They they know you're in this Twitter this Twitter group with like twenty other people, thirty other people, forty other people, whatever. You've been active or fairly active chatting with people and stuff. So they're aware you're a streamer. It's the whole point of it for streamers to get to know each other and stuff. So they, they basically blank you. Okay, fine, whatever. You go into other people's chats. You'll be in a slow stream where it's like three people watching. So the chat is like comment comes on the screen. Five minutes later, still there. Ten minutes later, still there. Fifteen minutes later, it's a second comment. That sort of speed where the chat's barely moving, you know. And I've literally had occasions in the past where I've gone to someone's chat, messaged them, and they've blanked me completely in a chat where it's that slow. And I'm just like, why do I bother? Ignore me. Ignore me, ignore me, ignore me, ignore me, ignore me. And then they're the ones then that turn around and say, like, um, they, they're the ones that sort of expect to get raided. Well, fuck them. I won't raid anyone like that. I'm not going to raid a single person like that because I don't fucking deserve it. If you have that attitude, you don't fucking deserve it. <laughs> Bastard. So, <laughs> so my, yeah, the point is there's, there's quite a few small smaller streamers that got chips on their shoulders for some reason and, and they, they feel like they're old stuff. There's lots of bigger guys up there that are... Um, that are doing well for themselves, well done, but they feel like they're old, they're old stuff. And, and it's that streamer mentality, which is across the board, it's mid-tier ones as well, like it, you know, where, where they, they might think, oh, you know, I'm a celebrity. That's what makes me laugh so much. They think they're fucking celebrities on this system, you know, and it's like, you're not a celebrity. You're, you're just a regular person somewhere in the world who's got a computer that will play games with a microphone on, um, you know, unless you're that titty streamer, whatever the fucking name was, Burger, Zoe Burger, who, who pff, that we could do a topic on her at some stage. That that would be appropriate, I think. That would be, I got a few things to say about that. Um, I won't say it now. I want to try and save some of this stuff for other episodes, but we'll, we'll talk about Zoe Burger at some stage, guys, if you want to. Um, <laughs> uh, but there's so many, um, you know, there's so many people on the system that, that have that um, that kind of mentality, as if they're old stuff and. It's not just a streamer thing. I think I know that the, the topic was posed as, as about streamer mentality and privilege. I think it's a YouTube thing as well. There's lots of YouTubers I've come across to have that kind of attitude. Unfortunately, it's part of life. It's, it's what life can be like. You, you know, you you come across people that, that that feel like they're old things. I've come across people who, in, in you know, in, in life now outside of YouTube, where they have like nothing going for them at all. You know, they, they 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 might have like a limb missing, you know, they might have been diagnosed with something, they've just recovered from cancer and they're like the nicest people, kindest people, would always do you a good turn sort of thing. And then you come across some people that have had everything given to them, they, you know, they, they, they're they like 16, they've had a car bought for them by their grandparents because their grandparents used to work on the mines and they got a shitload of money because of it. So, you know, and they've had everything given to them and they've had that sort of thing. And uh, they've got like 12 computers. Okay, that's a bit exaggerating. I've only got one computer, but, you know, they might have like a you know brand new computer and a, a brand new laptop and a brand new tablet all in the space of like a three month period, all bought for them and that sort of thing. But... You know, it's what life is like. You get people who are like that. You get people who, are, you know, the other way. It's what it's like. It is nuts. It is absolutely nuts. Um, I want to just sort of bring up my point as well about my streams because I really enjoy them. I generally do. I I've had a couple of comments from people saying that they they generally feel like they they well they're, they're warmly welcomed and they they feel like I come across as quite genuine and that's like the nicest thing I've heard. I'm actually going to mention the guy's name. It's Luke Ringrose. He messaged me on Discord about it. And um, he said that coming to my stream was really good because um, I, I am not I'm not fake. I try not to be fake. I try to be who I am. It's like what I'm doing right now. Um, and I wish wish more people were like <laughs> I wish more people were like it. Just frustrates me so much. Yeah, streaming streaming is um some a weird fish tank, guys. There's lots of little sharks, lots of big sharks in that fish tank. Um, I'm just a squid. I got lots of arms. I'm all over the fucking place. <laughs> I'm like a squid just in the middle of it. Zoidberg. 
not Zoe Burger. Oh God, that just reminded me that's another Zoe Burger thing. She had them. Um, I mentioned her name. I may as well say it. She, um, for those who wonder who she is, she is a female streamer on YouTube gaming that was banned on Twitch and she's what you would call a bikini streamer so whenever someone donates money to her or a certain amount of money to her she changes her clothes her outfits or she'll wear an outfit to start stream she'll go off get changed go off get changed apparently playing a game call of duty usually call of duty or minecraft or something like that i don't know and then by the end of the stream she's in a bikini sort of thing and as you can imagine she's you know tits are practically out sort of thing uh, I think she said that once she gets to a million subscribers, she's going to get her tits out or something. I, I don't know. Her tits are already out on Twitter. Just go on her Twitter, you'll see them here. Um, HS, um, HS, my uh, moderator, his link's in the description below with all my stream moderators. He told me about it, so he, he linked me her, um, her Twitter and showed me her. Um, she's one of the fastest growing YouTubers out there. She's actually getting close to a million subs, and she only started like a month or two ago. So she went from like zero to that. And that's kind of weird because it's like, it's just, just the fucking demographic and a teenage, horny teenage kids and stuff. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, oh I just came. Oh yeah. Oh, I just came everywhere. Oh, this is the best streamer ever. Dude, what's the gameplay like? I can fuck the gameplay. I'm not here for the gameplay. I'm here for the tits. Uh, but it's YouTube gaming. It's, it's, it's actually in the title, gaming. I don't care. I just want to wank. Don't wank in front of me, Timmy. I don't care. I don't care. I just want, oh, I'm going to go again. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, more tits, more tits. Dude, dude, she hasn't even played the game in half an hour. I don't care. Yeah, it's just fucking mad, like. You know, if you're going to do that shit, go on Pornhub or something. Do you know what I mean? If I want to have a wank, I go on Pornhub. If I want to play games or watch games, I go on YouTube Gaming. Easy, simple, just like that. But, um, no. It's, uh, it's crazy stuff, guys. It's crazy stuff, the old, uh, the old YouTubes. Um... Probably end off in a couple of minutes as well. I don't want to go too long for the first one. I don't want to make it too too um, difficult for you guys for the first one. Might go longer next time. It depends on the conversations that we have, the the discussions that we, you know, the topics that we have uh, given to me. Basically, I just thought you know it was, it was suggested to me we we'll go with this one to begin with. This will go up on Patreon first of all, so it'll be up there um, for my patrons, who are absolutely amazing people, all of you. So that'll go there. Um, you guys get to watch it first, you give me your feedback and stuff, and then it'll get released then a couple of days later to everybody that's subscribed to my channel. And like I said, if you've got any topics you want me to go over, let me know in the uh, comment section below. And I can see what I can do for you guys. And yeah, it's nice to, it's nice to get stuff off your chest and to talk about things. And, and, you know, YouTube gaming is something which is obviously close to my heart, uh, being a content creator. I mean, it's not the be all and end all. I realise that. I feel like I feel like with me and YouTube gaming, I've gone through a bit of a phase with it where um, I was quite down last year, and it was a nice sort of distraction for me, and it, it was also tied into my hobbies, and it became something a bit more then, and and it's something I took very seriously, but I don't take it as far as like I'm old things, you know. That's not the the guy I want to be. I I don't feel like I'm old anything, you know. Um, apart from good internet speeds, BT. I'll, I'll I'll do one on them as well. We'll do a video on them at some stage because I got quite a lot to say about BT as well. Fucking idiots that they are in this country. Um, but that'll be for another time, guys. So we got stuff to talk about, like I said. So we can be anything like um, Zoe Burger. It can be about um, you know favorite Twitter moments. It can be uh, football related. It can be you know stuff about my personal life, like bowls and stuff that I've played. It can be about like YouTube itself. It can be about Total War YouTubers and what I think about them. It can be anything you want to bring up at all. And you know, favorite moments on YouTube. Just give me a few questions, a few topics, and then we'll we'll I'll, I'll, I'll script them properly, write them out, and then we'll we'll make it into a bit more of a thing. And yeah, we'll end it here, guys. So I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching the very first episode of Dragon's Pipe Bomb. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>